Hello, everybody in that magical kingdom named OFI. My name is Krusty. I am going to be surviving in the long dark even more so than I have survived previously, which is a strange thing because I am still alive. Surely I cannot survive more than I have survived already. The essence of survival is just not dying. Therefore, I've succeeded to the maximum amount I possibly can succeed so far. However, I will be attempting to succeed in survival even more than I have been previously. That's... Ooh. That house has Christmas lights on it. There's been a Christmas update that I was not aware of. Christmas is gone now, though. Let it, let it go. The god, the gods are having an argument. It, it, it's at some point at night time. It's not telling me what point in the night time it is, because there's a storm outside. So outside, it's hard to tell the time of the, the 24 hours. You survived five days. I've survived five days, everybody. Uh, hello. Okay, so it's daytime now. Oh, I can, I can poke my head outside. I can walk around outside. We can hopefully get some stuff done. I'm I'm quite looking forward to what we can accomplish in this episode. Last episode we just kind of wandered around looking for a gun and I feel like I wasted an episode. Just not really getting up to a whole lot. And although this game, the, the, the general... generalness of this game is you just wander around looking for things. You go from place to place scavenging all the supplies that you might encounter. However, last time I felt like it was a bit of a waste. I didn't feel like I really accomplished a whole lot. I kind of stuck in this area for the most part. Well, the whole part. The whole the whole part I did that. This time I want to try and find a new area. I want to find things that are actually interesting without getting nibbled to death by a wolf. Also, a lot of you have been helping me out in the comments, and I do appreciate that. Some of you are telling me there are guns in specific locations. Well, there's chances. There's certain areas in areas with uh, percentages, chances, chances that guns may may spawn in them. And I could go checking in all those places, but I don't want to go doing that because I feel like it's just going to delay everything and I don't just want to go be doing those kind of things. I want to move forward and I want to discover new and wonderful areas, potentially trees that can talk to me. That's uh, That's not really a thing. I hope it is. It would combat the loneliness I feel in my heart. One thing one of you guys told me in the last episode was it's a good idea when I'm just waiting around to constantly rest just to pass the time. If I'm waiting inside of a place for a storm to pass or anything like that, I rest. And I feel like I've kind of been doing that anyway, but I feel like I could probably do it better. So I'm, I'm always using the time to the maximum amount of maximums. Look, porks and beans. I like that. Tinder plug. Let's, let's have that then. Yay. I'm pretty sure as well I am still pretty over-encumbered. I have way too many things I'm carrying, uh, which are slowing me down. I shouldn't really be carrying them, but never mind. Let's check in this plastic container. Hopefully there's good things. There is nothing in there. There is a wolf over in that direction, walking slowly towards my current location. I will not be heading in that direction of that wolf. Unless it attacks me, I can punch it in the mouth, send it running away, crying like the little bitch of a wolf that it is. Am I calling out wolves a little bit too much? Am I being disrespectful to nature and the guardians of nature such as wolves? There is another wolf over there. Very slowly they are surrounding me and very quickly they will descend upon my frightened corpse with the haste of a thousand bumblebees. I can't run because I'm wrapped too heavily in layers of things I have found. There is a stick on the floor. Could end up being useful. Let's pick up the stick. There, There is a little hut up there. That's good. Guns are in huts. I feel like if I find a gun, like, there's a rabbit. I feel like if I find a gun, I'm probably gonna die straight away because I've achieved something. The main thing I wish to achieve is to hold a gun in my hand, to feel that rush of power before I go outside and get brutally mauled to death by a bear. That's how I feel like things are gonna go down, but that's not how I hope things are gonna go down. I don't want that to happen. There's a down vest here. I don't need it. I'm trying to stay positive. Let's equip our little storm land in here, and let's search every little corner of this place, because a gun could be anywhere. There's some tomato soup. I do enjoy a good tin of tomato soup, and an energy bar. Thank you so much. 
What is that? Painkillers. I could need them. I could need painkillers. There's some wool socks as well. Do I... What could we hear? Could I use... Maybe I can have them. Maybe I need better socks. They, they could be good socks. I, I, I like... Uh, socks. Uh, I like socks. Why don't I get some water out of the toilet seeing as I'm here? And then I will... I will cleanse the water so it is ready for drinking at the first opportune moment in time. What is this up here? This is... Fleece mittens. Okay. Well, I, I prefer dexterity myself. I'm going to just pick things up to, to burn things with because I get the feeling that I'm going to be trapped outside very soon and I'm going to need to start a fire. Wow. I am seriously over encumbered. Holy moly. Okay. Well, how about this? How about I just drop the mountaineering rope? Because at the moment I'm just holding on to things because I feel like I'm going to need them in the future. But right now I don't see any need for that. So I'm going to drop the mountaineering rope. So that's quite a large chunk of the weight gone right there. So I have a fire log at the moment, which is really good for the fire. It's really good for throwing on a fire because the fire burns a long time. And I was very happy when I got that. However, that is uh, uh, two kilograms. That's weighing me down quite a lot. Why don't I just drop it? Because it hurts me to do these things, but I need to do it. This is about survival. And damn it, I wish to survive. These are the sacrifices one must be making. I have quite a lot of antiseptic as well, so why don't I drop at least one of them? Uh, that, they don't weigh too much, but I mean, everything adds up, doesn't it? Also, wooden socks, are they any better or worse than the socks I'm currently wearing? They're... They're... I don't know. Let's drop them. I have the Wilderness Kitchen book, which I've been meaning to read for a long time, so I might as well research it and read it for three hours, and that, that's that's kind of a waste of things, and then I'm going to wake up... Uh, not wake up, I'm not asleep. I'm going to be all really thirsty and everything like that. Um, potentially, that was not a good idea. But never mind, I can drink things because I have H2O in a bottle on me. And I can use it. I can use it very well. Okay, well I can't see a gun anywhere in this place. I will have to try and remember where this place is if I have to come back and find a mountaineering rope at some point because eventually... It's in this game for a reason. Right? So I'll need it at some point, right? So... Yeah. Let's leave the house. Let's press onwards to greener pastures. Probably not green. Probably covered in snow. That that debil the, the debilitating white substance that eventually entraps everything and freezes it into a bitter end. Oh look, the sea! Well, isn't that nice? I mean, I can't go over there. I'm damn sure I'm not stepping foot in there. What is that? What is that down there? There's a wolf heading towards that thing down there. Wolf is heading towards that thing that I would like to be heading towards to investigate. I will not be heading towards that thing to investigate that thing any longer. I suddenly decide that I don't care as much. That is the direction I was in previously, I think, as well. I can, I can see the little fishing village over there I started this episode on. So I'm heading back on myself already, and I said I wouldn't be doing that. However, I head back on myself in order to progress forwards. What is this? Oh, it's just a flipped upside down boat. But I was brought in by the bright colours, like some kind of poisonous snake or peacock. Oh, uh, a uh, weak ice. Okay, don't, don't don't walk on the weak ice. Weak ice would would crack, and I'd I fall down to my my frozen death. I don't want to fall down to any death, let alone a frozen one. Now I did go in this direction before, looking for an out looking for a new place to explore. I did not find anything, but I feel like over in this direction somewhere, there is a way into a new area. I'm not sure where to go to find it. I'm not really sure if there is really a new area. I just kind of live in hope a little bit. Like right now, right in here. I'm going to walk in here and I'm going to live in hope. There's some dog food. I'll pick it up, even though I just ate a load of dog food and stuff, because I wanted to lose weight on myself. There's an instructional manual on ice fishing. That could be very useful. I will definitely pick that up. I see no gun in here. I'm not going to bother opening up the drawers and stuff, although I probably should, just in case to see what things are in there. You're making noise. Stop it. On the bright side, I can run again now because I've dropped some weight, so that's good. If I should need to sprint away at a really slow rate, I can absolutely be doing that. That's very nice. So something a lot of you guys have mentioned I should be on the lookout for. A lookout? I should be on the lookout for lookouts. 
Lookouts may have guns. Where would lookouts be? Lookouts would be in high elevated areas. I should make my way up into high elevated areas to find these lookouts. I will not be heading in that direction though because I was there before there was a bear. So if I head upwards somehow, maybe I can find a lookout at some point. I just have to find a little opening and then my feet shall carry me the rest of the way into a heavenly location with firepower. Is my feather tired? My, my feather is tired. It's not easy to survive when you've got this man who complains so much about things. We got a corpse. We got a corpse. Hello, corpse. What is this? Pry bar. I already have one of them. Frozen corpse. I will rifle cartridge. Great. I'll take it because I will find a rifle. I'm slowly gathering up enough ammo to to take me anywhere I damn well please. Once I find a rifle, there will be nothing stopping me. Nothing at all. I say nothing at all. Oh look, there's a road or something. Oh, isn't that nice? Let's follow the road or something then. So it seems we stumbled upon a road, which is good. Roads lead to places. Even if it leads to another area, I will I will stop looking for the lookout because I don't care about the lookout. I kind of want to see another area. I just, I want to see excitingness. Sometimes excitingness can only be found in new and dangerous locations. I say danger, I mean danger potentially from elements. Elements I can kind of handle. If there are lots of wolves and bears and things, I wish not speak see them anymore. They they danger I not fan of none. Why are the birds flying in that direction? Am I being followed by something? I hope I'm not being followed by something. It is quite likely that I am being followed by something. I am not alone in this forested area after all. I am with creatures that hunt and stalk and plan and maim and plan some more and they go and look on Amazon and they order a how-to manual of how to plan so they can plan even better than they planned to begin with so now they're really good at planning and there's not a lot I can do I can run but they all keep running after me I mean sure I am human being I have the endurance factor this is true they have sharp teeth and I do kind of have some sharp teeth Oh look, place! Look, there's another place, there's like an old railway, railway, railway. I didn't have to say that three times. I don't know why I said it three times. I don't know. That's mixtape. Wow, I wonder if there's a place I can go through there, like I can, I can find my way through the tunnel. I mean, there's a building here. I'll be sure to go through this building before anything else. This is interesting. I like it when we find new things. They excite me so much. There's a bandage. I can't remember if I have any. I'll pick it up. Well, there is no gun in this place. That's very disappointing, but... I am quite tired. I'm getting drained. There's five hours of daylight left, so... I mean, I'll sleep for two hours, and then I'll go outside and explore the surrounding area for a couple of hours. And if I need to come back, I can come back to this place and sleep throughout the night. Oh, I'll just investigate just a little bit over here. Not a lot of investigating can harm too much. If I just see if it can go anywhere, it doesn't look like it can. Maybe there's a button prompt or something. There is not. Okay. Well, there, the tunnel continued over the other side. So if I follow the train tracks, maybe they will go to a place. And this place is a place I would very much like to be. Maybe it goes into some dark tunnel. I, I find some kind of society of gnomes. And the gnomes can help me. And they can sing along, and then I can get really into the rhythm, and then I can eventually sing along as well. And then there, there is a dead man on the floor. Hello, dead man. What do you have on you, dead man? You're not talking, dead man. You are dead. I was not expecting a conversation, but in times like this, when I am by myself for so long, I, I like to imagine I have conversations with things which can't possibly talk back to me. In a way, that's that's the best kind of conversation to have, because you don't always have... A uh, negative. This blizzard is going to be a problem. If I can just sprint a little bit, just so I can get to that tunnel on the other side, because I don't want to be out here if the, 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 the snow is picking up, and the wind is picking up, and it's getting noisier and noisier, it's harder to hear myself. I don't want the elements to take control. The elements are not in control. I am in control. I hold the, the, the true and only path to my destiny. I decide where I go. The elements have no control over me. 
So if I had the time and know-how, I would of course construct some kind of uh, train so I can go on these tracks and then go there even quicker. I don't really feel like doing that though, so I'm not going to do that. It's not because I can't do that. Not be oh, look, leave Coastal Highway. Okay, yeah, let's, let's leave Coastal Highway. Great. So I'm going into a new location. This is precisely what I wanted. Look at the snow, it's so beautiful but so dangerous. I shouldn't trust such beauty. So what awaits us in this place? There is a dam. Damn. That, that <laughs> I didn't actually mean to say that. That just turned out very well. That's not a dam. That's that's not a dam. Is it a dam? Maybe a dam. Oh wow. Look at this then. This is quite something. Can I get to the other side? Can I balance on this thing? It makes a lot of cr creaky noises. I guess I might as well try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It, I mean, I die. <laughs> I fall down and die. That's the worst that can happen. I wouldn't be complaining if I'm dead. I'd be dead. They're, they're com complaining. I made it. Well done. We, we made it over that, that small little section of danger. Well done. Awaits us much more danger. Let's... Let's very slowly press onwards. Let's let's not get weighed down by the idea and the concept of failure, of slipping, falling down, breaking every bone in our body and suffering a cruel, lonely and devastating fate. Also, this wind is really picking up. Let's not conceive the idea that it can blow us off of this place and we go sailing down into our eternal damnation. Because hell is down there, it is warm, it is tempting to go down there for a little visit, but we will not be doing that. We will be remaining up here, at least for the time being, because I am in control of my own destiny. I do I do not bow to the will of gods, no matter how cold and ferocious it may be. I intended to say the word ferocious then, but it did not come out that way. Well, I am still pretty tired. I have about two hours of daylight left. The sun is very noticeably dipping in the sky. I should find a place as soon as possible to hang my hat and take some rest while I can get it. There is another tunnel through here. That's good. It'll serve as shelter at least. Hopefully there's not some kind of kraken in sight. Why would there be a kraken? Kraken is a water beast. That's ridiculous. I'm more concerned about ogres. It's a cave. Caves are popular dwellings for ogres. Ogres. Not the friendliest of beasts often turn you into jelly and smear you on toast. I don't wish to be ogre toast. I don't wish that at all. This is a very interesting location though. Potentially I could I could stay here through the night. Unless of course there is a building over the other side just here. If there is a building that would be much more preferable because it has walls and although this one has walls it does not have walls on every side Therefore, the cold can still affect me. I don't want to be affected by the cold. The cold is, after all, quite cold. I really should stop moving forward so much, and I should know when to... when to hang back and just rest a little bit. This is... this is a very precarious location I find myself in here. Okay, let, 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 let's go back. Let's go back in here. I'm gonna set up a fire in here. I'm gonna rest for a little bit, because oh, nice. I don't know how far I'm gonna be wandering forward until I can find another suitable location. And this place is actually pretty good. I don't believe any wolves or bears will really come for me here unless they're already inside. I'm sure it'll be fine. The fire will last for 17 minutes. That is nowhere near, near as long as I would like it to be. Let's add some fuel to this this little puppy of a fire here. And let's keep, let's keep it going for one hour and two hours and 14 minutes. How about that? This fire shall consume time for two hours and 14 or whatever minutes it won't it won't consume time unless I've created some magical fire which consumes time and space around it which that is quite something to to create let me tell you let's let's put our bedroll down and go to sleep for a few hours quite a few hours actually because we one hour of daylight left so I'm gonna have to sleep throughout the night because I do not want to be adventuring let alone adventuring in a new place in complete darkness when there are wolves on the prowl so I will sleep for two hours, I will wake up, I will rejuvenate the fire as much as I can, and then I will sleep for a further amount of time 
as yet not dictated because it depends on fire all right fire how how about how about you um how about you eat a book then and some sticks as well they I need to pick up more sticks that, that, that's all my sticks that's all my sticks done I mean I guess I can slightly poke my head out there and maybe look for sticks I don't know there's my footprints I'm like an astronaut on the moon not at all I am like that I will I will stop talking I will go to sleep so I can sleep for a further two hours which is a bit of a help but that means there is still gonna be seven or eight hours of darkness remaining when I wake up and that's gonna be oh boy that's gonna be so complicated well let's just drink and eat things and then maybe I can walk around outside for a little bit What's the worst that can happen? Good news, everybody! We are now under the weight limit, so we can move to our maximum potential again. This... Hooray! Apparently you can craft a torch. You can craft a torch. I keep forgetting you can craft a torch. A few of you have mentioned that you can craft a torch. I keep forgetting that you can craft a torch. I'm gonna have to craft a torch at some point. I need some reclaimed wood. Unfortunately, all the reclaimed wood that I have has gone into this campfire at the moment. So I will... I will not be I will not be making a torch but I can make a torch which will keep me warm I guess as I'm walking around I need to do that more often that will attract attention of certain local predators I say that that's not sexual predators if your mind went there maybe it did I don't know if you're like me sometimes you think about things which are not really the intended things I don't know I'm still pretty tired though and this campfire has 80 minutes remaining that's not enough I tell you what why don't I just why don't I just walk around outside and if I so happen to see something on the ground, which can be used inside of a fire, then I will pick it up and I will go back towards that place. Biff, fire. The night sky is quite beautiful. But it's so nice being so close to it up in this high place. The bad thing with these high places is that I am up high. So it's going to be a lot colder up here. It was cold down below. Now it's just even colder. Now it's just even more of a problem. This feels very much like a place one would go to were they about to be ambushed by something. What would ambush me? What would plan an ambush? Velociraptors. But they, there's no Velociraptors in this game. I don't believe. However, wolves might be cunning enough to plan an ambush of some kind. Oh, the wind just picked up. I actually felt that. The sound design is so good in this game. It came through my ears and made me actually feel like I was in peril for a second. I guess that's good. Makes me feel like staying alive is really, truly important. And it is really, truly important. I should absolutely be staying alive. I really should. There's a waterfall over here, I think. I can hear it. What else is there? I don't know. I believe I can go down this way. Let's head this way. There is a rabbit over there. I can't kill it. If I can catch it and strangle it to death, I absolutely would do that. But I don't believe that is actually an option. Uh, what have we got? There, there's a fallen uh, uh, train cart carriagey place here. Uh, can I get on it? I would like the ability to get on it. I think I found the way on it. That's, that's good. If I can stay in there, although it is in a very dangerous location, it might be quite snug. Let's, um... Oh, boy. That's, yes, that is a long way down. Okay, well, let's, let's... Let's just slowly go over this here. Not stopping and looking down as I go, like I am currently doing. Let's, let's continue over to the other side. There's, oh look, there's a dead man with a backpack. Does he have wonderful things in a backpack? A stale granola bar, that's, that's okay. A moldy granola bar, that's, I, no, I, I draw the line at mold. He has nothing else in the backpack, but what does he have on him? Maybe he has deep pockets. Even if he does, he has nothing in them. God damn it. I can't feel my hands. Oh, I don't like this. I should have stayed in the cave. I'm getting very numb as a rabbit. I'm getting very numb and very tired. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be venturing around outside at night time. There's a rabbit who keeps running around. You really make me jump. There's a dead deer here. Which means there are predators around. There are things around nearby that can kill a deer. And I don't believe a rabbit would want to kill a deer. Unless, of course, it was really quite desperate. 
There are quite a lot of rabbits around here. They have the numbers game. It's to say they could not take down a deer and rip out its insides. I am now at risk for hyperfermia. This is this is simply wonderful. I do not actually currently possess anything I don't believe that could actually create a fire. Although I probably do, thinking about it. Why don't why, hey, tell you what? Why, why don't we hang here for, for a second? And why, why don't we why don't we make why don't we make a fire? I, the the only thing I have for fuel is the frozen angler, which is the book I found, which can teach me about ice fishing. That's not the thing I want to burn for fuel. I would not like to burn that thing for fuel. Well, I'm currently freezing, which means I'm at risk for hyperfermia. So I need to start a fire very soon, or find a place I can go inside very soon. There's some birch bark right there. This is flammable. That, 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 that's good. Right now, let's set up a fire right now. Let's, let's, let, let's set up a fire right now, because damn it, I can't, I can't, I can't, oh dear, I have to... See, if I set up a fire now, I have to use the frozen angler book that I found, which will teach me about ice fishing for fuel. Screw it. That, that, let's go ahead and do that anyway. Let's... I don't care about ice fishing. I can learn it all by myself. Sacrifices for survival. These are things that Come must on. be made. I really need to sleep as well, but I, I don't want to go sleeping out here because I don't think I have enough stuff on me to keep the fire burning long enough to keep burning whilst I'm sleeping. And I will just, I will just freeze to death while I'm sleeping. Well, why don't I look into building a snow shelter? Snow shelter requires 15 sticks and 5 cloth to build. Well, shit. That's a no-no then. This is the most I have felt in danger since I started this game. I feel so alone and so vulnerable to so many things. One minute remaining of the campfire. Say goodbye to the campfire, everybody. It served us moderately well. Okay, well, campfire's dead now. Okay, let, let's, let's move on really, really quickly, because the more time I spend just standing around wondering which direction to go, the quicker this cold is going to get me and going to strangle me. I need to find some place to escape this cold. I know, buddy, I know. Well, there's another dead deer over there. That's, that's a brilliant sign that I'm heading in the direction of things that kill things like that, isn't it? That's great. Is this a cave? Is this is a cave? Maybe I should not be going in this place. Maybe going in this place is a really bad idea. Well, we're in a cave now. That's there's some firewood. That's very good. I just I, I really need to start picking up things that will produce fire again, because that's not anything I currently possess. Can I make a fire? I need to make another fire if I can. I can do that. I'm really happy about this. The fire lasts for about two hours, which means I can get about two hours of sleep if if I if I if I turn off my fuel lantern first because I've done that before and I waste all the fuel. So if I get a couple of hours of sleep, I should increase in my warmth. I should increase in my my non tiredness, and then I should go walking around outside a bit longer. I've survived for six days. I I didn't think that would be a thing. I didn't I didn't think that would be a thing. Let Let's head back outside now that I'm all warm and. Not quite as tired and stuff. Let's go do that. I could pick up branches, but that, that takes time to do that. I'd much rather pick up sticks, although they don't burn as long or help as much. You don't have to waste time collecting them when you find them. You could you could just pick them straight up. It is really dark, isn't it? I may regret doing this, but that that's that's equip a storm lantern. Just 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 so your benefit and mine, so we can both see where the hell we're going. Although it doesn't really help see that that far into the future um, there's a stick I'll pick it up okay so it's another little train track thing okay well I'll I'll head in this direction and hope it leads me somewhere I mean it will lead somewhere eventually whether that is a dead end or not time will only tell oh look I can leave the ravine okay so I can leave this place now okay that let's, let's head into a new area then and new areas present new opportunities. I don't know what this area is. Maybe it's a different place of a place I've been in before. I don't really know. Let's extinguish this, because I think at this point it may be a little bit harder for me to see with it out. They're not out. This looks like a very open area. And if there were going to be wolves, 
they would probably be in a place like this. Chasing me. Let's proceed slowly. And with some amount of caution. The aim to get the gun is no longer the greatest aim of all. The true aim and the goal right now is just to make it to some kind of building, some kind of place where we can rest, we can warm up, and we have no concerns about the elements. I can hear something walking around in the snow. I don't know what it is. But something is walking around in the snow. There's another dead deer. That's... That's very reassuring. I mean, I'd like I like to take a, a trek from... From uh, Star Wars and rest inside it for warmth. But I don't believe that's an option in this game. So cold. Now I'm at risk of hypothermia. There is no building anywhere close by that I can see. But I will remain optimistic that we will come out of this alive. Although I am freezing and I have an extreme risk of hypothermia. A hypothermia is not something I would like to encounter. Hypothermia is a bad thing. No, no hypothermia. Go away. Go away, never come back. I apologize if you guys are having a hard time seeing this, by the way. I'm having a hard time seeing this. And I'm, 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 I mean, I'm playing the game. Maybe I can make a quick little fire. Just to, just to, just to get rid of the hypothermia. You know, the risk of hypothermia is not something I want. I, I don't know if this is going to help me, but it might help me a little bit. The, the warmer I am, the less hypothermia hurts my children. I don't have children. Flames burst into life, save me from this risk of hyperfermy, which is great and ever greater by the moment. Hooray! We have a campfire! For four minutes. Four damn minutes! One minute. Time goes really quickly when you're out here alone, doesn't it? Trying not to die. That's... That's a shit. Oh, well, there goes that campfire then. Let, let, let's, let, let's continue onwards again. I, I forget how extremely dark it is until you're looking at a bright fire and then you look up and then you realize how bloody dark it is. Why why am I going in this place? Why? My belly just rumbled. But that's okay, because I really thought it was a growl of something much more ferocious. That's not to say my belly is not ferocious. And I should not fear it. And I should not obey it. If it's saying feed me, I should probably feed it things. Instead, yeah, that, that, why, don't, why don't we do that? Why, why, don't, we, why, don't, we, why don't we do that? Why is the music like this? And the music has changed. And I don't like it. These are situations I am not feeling very comfortable in, but I will go forward anyway because I have the eye of the tiger, and the eye of the tiger will see me through all the dangerous perils of life. And no, 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 no thing with sharp teeth, no thing with coldness like the element shall derail me from my path to glory, and my path of glory is simply in this situation to survive, to, f to find some kind of... <gasps> There's a building down there! Oh, sweet days! Sweet days we found salvation! Oh, we found a... we found a... Oh, this is good. This is good. This is very good. Let's go inside. How do I go inside? Where's the damn front door? Where's the damn front door? Here's the damn front door. Yes, oh my god, we made it. Oh boy. There's, there's a quick storm lantern. And just see what kind of place we're dealing with here. Then, this... Ooh! This, this is a nice looking area. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. You know, I, uh, for a moment there, I thought we were just going to collapse dead in the snow. I thought that was it. I thought that was the end of my life. I thought that was the end of this series. I thought that was it done. We didn't even find a gun or anything like that. But here we are in a place where it looks to be lots and lots of resources. You've got painkillers on there. And, and God knows what else. We have We have all these, all these, oh boy, so many wonderful things. I tell you what. I'm going to end the episode in this little cabin here. Feather here is very, very tired, so he is going to go to sleep now. And and then we will resume 
our adventures in this game. If you people are still enjoying it, I really hope you're still enjoying it because I'm still enjoying it. If you are still enjoying it, please let me know by commenting down below and leaving one of those like things. Because as far as I know, they actually mean something and they really help out the channel. So thank you for watching. I will see you in next video times. Awkward wave, which doesn't make sense. Thank you.